hello guys welcome back on the new video in this video i'm gonna show you how we can rewrite our android application with mvvm clean architecture so the practice i'm gonna follow i'm gonna take hello guys welcome back on my new video in this video i'm going to show you how we can build scalable architecture of android app using mvvm clean architecture so this is my application he it just has a quite good number of downloads i write this uh, i write this application for a year ago over a time this uh, became very huge code and uh, most of classes have a, uh, around 1500 lines of code it do follow mvvm but not uh, good way in good way so it, it's allowed to download a video wallpaper a gif wallpaper and photo wallpaper so there are three type of uh, data so it a video gif and uh, images and uh, and also it's allow user to pick from local storage also from a remote data source so it has a two type of data source local plus remote so uh, the task is to rewrite this application so in the it can be scalable in the future so i'm going to follow uh, this uh, guideline uh, from google developer and uh, i'm going to leave this link in the description you can copy this one and follow I'll, i highly suggest you watch this video also from google uh, okay we are going to design first data layer and then we will use your design the ui layer ui layer will be designed in the jetpack compose for now we are going to design just a data layer okay and i do have a new design for this screen for home home screen for this screen and now it should look like like this one so if we we carefully look at this we can use again search from an internet source so it's once it search a user will be uh, shown the video gif or or photos uh, depending on the tab type so user can also pick from gallery so uh, from overall i can see we have three type of data gif video and image and each data can be downloaded from internet or it can be uh, picked from local storage or gallery so for that i do i'm gonna follow the my practice its practice is uh, i'm gonna divide this application in the modules uh, in the packages by features so onboarding is feature splash is feature home page is um, is a kind of feature but it's not really feature but it's a screen so it, the the application is divided in the you can say it's by screens the code is divided so first we have a data layer and for data source we will uh, we are going to uh, uh we use a data source okay data source could be remote and local in the remote we can have multiple data source so it can be coming from one uh, api then we the videos wallpaper can be coming from two apis three apis so i want to design so it can be come from multiple so for that i did design the video data source interface and then we have video remote data source this remote data source is download uh, wallpaper or get wallpapers from uh, I think uh, pixel bay <laughs> okay uh, yeah it's come from pixel uh, pixels dot com and uh, if in the future I want to add multiple data sources for a remote what i have to do is just to create a new class uh, create a new class not a job i'm kotlin class and it should be like video remote data source abc abc it's more data source okay and then uh, I will implement video data source and 
yeah this is how it's very simple and you you, you can uh, you can also inject this one in, in the remote data source so uh, let me show you how the repository look like uh, the, uh, if we talk about the repository this is how the repository look like video repository it's inject i'm using a trigger held to inject my video data source remote data source so this is how repository look like it map it's get a video and map to the video ui so let me show you how the model should look like so it can be scalable for a video each api you should have a different kind of each api should have own mod uh, model and you do not want to mix that model with the video wallpaper ui so it should be independent this response video response is a bridge between your data source and your repository and this video pixel is response for get wallpaper or parse a wallpaper from my api so if i show you my api class service you can see this is api response this uh, this class and this video response is basically is bridge between your remote data sources and your repository so no matter if this video uh, api is get changed if the new uh, parameter get or rename it you, you add a new parameter we do not have to modify other classes so we probably need to just modify our response class i don't think so we really, really need it but uh if, if we if we have to we can modify this class only we would not need to add modify any other class so in in the future if you decided to add one more remote data source for a video wallpaper you just have to write the new service for that you have to create a new model for that and uh, in the data source uh, you you have to appropriately map your videos uh, response to the video wallpaper response and that's which only thing you need to do is and if i show you how the view model is look like this is how the view model is look like it uh, inject and the video repository and the video repository get the video videos as you can see and let me run the application now and let's see how it's, if it's work or not you will not see any ui changes on the user interface because there is no user interface it's just a data layer in the next video i will show you how i build the UI layer okay now it's uh, new okay uh, let's go to log get okay uh, this log get says success this edit method is get executed it mean so we have a new a video if I click on this one here video URL it should open a new one here uh, yeah it's a random video okay now let me show you how it's easy to swap up the data sources and, and add a new data source if i go to a video repository and i have i just inject i remove this remote data source private value um, fake video data source video remote fake data source and I have just have to do is copy this one here copy this and that's it and it should work now uh, with fake data source also so it is good if you want to mock a data your server is down or your API is not yet built uh, you can mock your data and you can work on, on the, the fake data on, on your backend team is still working on uh, your API I'm gonna uh, if you need to or if you need this code I will put this code 
on github you can uh, review the code if you want to change any code uh, to need me pull request it's uh, you if you want to learn it you can learn it or whatever you like it you can do it okay and now you and now let's we have success uh, success callback again and let's see if this video this time will get changed I don't think so it's get changed but let me do it again I'm not sure why it's not get changed okay I'm not getting a call back here and uh, okay let me check why okay my bad uh, I was looking at wrong uh, wrong emulator so yeah it's a new video as you can see it's okay thank you guys for watching let me know comment if you think uh, it, this code can be improved you can comment in the box uh, if you have a suggestion you can let me know